So the first thing is sound selection. Now I know you've heard this in every other tutorial already, but for me this is number one purely because it's the most important step. So here's an example of some potentially good sounds but used in the wrong beat against good sound selection. So number two is using a clipper. For all my beats, I use the T-Rex Classic Clipper on my master, which is undeniably the best sounding clipper that's out there. And one thing to note as well is that I turn the slope knob all the way to the left because this achieves the softest cliff. The softest cliff? What? The softest clip possible, which is the best in my opinion. Now, if you don't have this clipper, you can just use the Fruity Soft Clipper. That one's good enough. I do recommend you get the T-Rex one. I'll show you an example as well of the Fruity Soft Clipper against the T-Rex one. Number three is going to be leveling. You could have the first two steps on lock, but if you still aren't leveling your beats properly, they just won't hit. Personally, for me, I like to clip my 808s a little bit, but not too much. But then that also depends on what beat I'm making. So again, here's an example of poorly leveled drums against properly leveled drums. So number four is layering your low end with high end. What I mean by this is layering your 808s or your kicks with an open hat or hi hats. This is one of the key ways to make your drums sound crisp. Final step, saturation. So adding saturation to your drums is gonna have them sounding even crispier when paired with the step before, right? So for FL users, this is how you're gonna do this. You want to highlight all your drums by literally just holding left click and dragging down these lines here. And then you wanna go into your mixer and from the first empty mixer track that you've got, you wanna hold Control, Shift, and L. And then what you'll see this does is it links them all individually like that. And the next thing you wanna do, hold Control, left click, and then right click on this little arrow down here and route to this track only. So then all of these tracks are only gonna go through this track and then to the master. So now we have this drum bus. I'll put Fab Filter Saturn 2. I won't even change any of the parameters for the saturation or anything. I'll just leave it like that. And then again, here's an example of how the drums will sound without saturation and with the saturation. the five tips if you learned something then please like the video and subscribe to my channel i'm going to be dropping more tutorials like this yeah if you have any ideas for videos as well make sure you comment that i'll catch you in the next one